Hi, I'm Lisa Crosby, and I'm going to talk to you about Teams and Power Platform licensing. In particular, what do you get with Power Platform inside your existing Teams license, by which I mean your existing Office 365 license that includes Teams, and what do you get in the full Power Apps license and when do you need each and when do you upgrade. So I'm going to try and keep this nice and simple for you. The core principle to remember here is that Power Platform included in the Teams license is to allow you to extend and customize Teams. So you can build apps for Teams, you can build chatbots for Teams, you can bring a database in there. But the idea here is you are building things for Teams to extend collaboration scenarios. If you're looking to build standalone apps, standalone chatbots, premium connectors, connecting to enterprise business systems and things, you're likely to be in the zone of full Power Platform licensing. So that's my short summary. Let me take you through now what you do get inside your Teams license with Power Platform tools, because it's awesome and there's a heap you can do with it. And this is something that you could use, you know, as it is to enable those collaboration scenarios. And then if you want at any point down the track, there's an upgrade pathway if you need to do more. So here's what you get. First of all, you get a database. Now, this is a proper relational database that can handle up to a million rows of data. It's huge. The idea here is that it's designed for people who would normally have started with an Excel spreadsheet or a SharePoint list or something like that. So you don't use a full enterprise database of some kind. You just like, oh, we're organizing an event or I need to collect information from people in the office about their product orders, their office supply orders, that kind of thing. Quick, I'll grab a spreadsheet or let's whip up a SharePoint list. Those kinds of use cases. And the idea here is that you can have that database embedded in Teams and then build apps on top of it, build Canvas apps, Power apps on top of it, so that you've got a beautiful custom user interface, rich, visually rich custom user interface, instead of a spreadsheet which is potentially disconnected somewhere who knows where. So this is allowing you to create something much richer than that and that has a much greater capacity than a SharePoint list or a spreadsheet. But you've got to think of it as something that is a substantial upgrade from those things rather than a less than of a full enterprise database. So. First thing you're getting now inside that Teams license is this rich database. Lots of different data types in there, easy to use, up to a million rows. You create it inside a team and you can actually then share that across the rest of your organization, but still only inside Teams. There are limited security roles that can apply to the data. So if you've got a scenario where you have lots of complex security role requirements, multiple user personas who need to be able to do very specific things, that's one of the instances where you might need to consider upgrading to a full Power Apps license. So that's the first thing, that database and the ability to create a Power App connected to it and sitting on top of it so that you can have this beautiful rich interface in Teams. And if you look at some of the sample apps, you can see how sophisticated these things can get. They can be very, very rich and very sophisticated. And all of this stuff you're seeing here with the sample apps is included in the Teams license. And in fact, these sample apps, you can just grab them there. They're there for free. You can just install them. Second thing you get is some Power Automate capability. And the Power Automate designer embedded in Teams actually is a light version of the full designer. So you don't even need to go into the full kind of flow design experience. It's really just like a little wizard with all of these templates and you just put the parameters in. So you'll see as we look through these templates, a lot of them start or finish with Teams. You know, they're triggered by something in Teams or the output is something in Teams. There's more than 50 odd of those already. I'm sure there'll be more in time. Um, and you can go through and just select one of those and you'll see you can just choose from the drop down menus to set the parameters, do some basic editing and then click create flow and you're done. You can also use this to jump into the full flow design experience, again, embedded inside the Teams um, UI there. 
you are fine here as long as you're using standard connectors because the standard connectors with Power Automate are included in your Office 365 license. So you can work from Teams here and use that uh, flow interface to create your custom flow using those standard connectors. You can also connect back to that database that I was talking about previously, which is a light version of Dataverse um, sitting inside Teams. So you can actually connect up with that app that you created in the first place. If you want premium connectors, however, take a guess, you need a premium license. So that's where that makes a difference in which license you need there. And last, but certainly not least, Power Virtual Agents. You can create a chatbot inside Teams, but this is designed to be an internal chatbot. So the idea here is something where your employees have frequently asked questions. Your chatbot can take action using Flow, again, those standard connectors or the connector through to that uh, Dataverse database that you've created in Teams. You can have something where you could set up like a, a ticketing system, for instance, for IT help desk, and the chatbot could raise tickets on behalf of the employee or could retrieve information from that database in Teams or any of the other standard connectors. You'll also find that the chatbot is a really useful thing to have for internal, just frequently asked questions, you know, HR policies, things like that, where people need answers. It can take a huge load off the staff that normally have to answer those things over and over again. Lots of scenarios there where the chatbot can come in useful. If you want to use Power Virtual Agents to create a chatbot for your website, for your customers, or on Facebook, or any of the other channels, then you need a full Power Virtual Agents license to do that. Included in your Teams license is just the ability to create that chatbot inside Teams. So I've got four C's as a helpful way to remember where the line is between the free license, the, the Power Platform capability that's included in your Teams license. I shouldn't call it free. You are actually paying for Office 365 and where you need to pay for a full Power Apps license of some kind. So four C's, here we go. First one is capacity. If you need more than a million rows, so if you've got a massive database, if you're starting to think about building something that's a full enterprise workload, you should really be looking at a full Power Apps license for that. The second one is control. So those security roles, if you need granular security, granular kind of uh, roles there, different user personas and things, then you should be considering a full Power Apps license for that. The third one is the client. If you need to be working on a standalone client of some kind, for instance, you need to be able to build a, um, a power app for mobile. If you want to be able to build a power virtual agent for your website, then you need to be looking at the full licenses. If you're building for the Teams client, then you're good in your Teams license. And finally, we have got connectors. So connectors, if you need to be using premium connectors, then Premium connectors always, always go with a premium licensing. And I've got a whole other video on that kind of stuff as well so that you can figure out when you need when you need a full license for a premium connector and what that's about. So there you have it. I hope that simplifies that for you. Basically, what you're getting is a huge amount of power platform capability to extend and customize Teams, to build chatbots, apps, flows, and so on inside Teams. And then if you want to unlock complex security roles, um, custom connectors, premium connectors, code, uh, huge capacity, all of those kinds of things, offline mode, there's a heap of other things there, then there's an upgrade path into the full Power Platform Power Apps licenses. Thanks for watching. I hope that's helped with clearing it up and that you've got a better understanding of what you're getting in that license. Do have fun with it. Get in and, and play with those Power Platform tools inside Microsoft Teams. There's a heap going on there and a heap of things you can do with Teams as a platform and extending those collaboration scenarios there.